So Research Committee E is one of uh, five of BBSRC's research committees, and it's the one that deals with their fellowships. So on Committee E, we're responsible for the award of fellowships and other personal awards. And we're also uh, uniquely responsible for the mentoring of the fellows who get the awards that we, we give out. So in a good, exceptionally ranked discovery fellowship proposal, there'll be three really important elements. The first one is the quality of the CV of the applicant. And the CV really needs to show that the applicant is becoming and is poised to become a, a leader in their field. So you want to see some real evidence of independence at an early stage. Uh, in addition to that, you want to be convinced that the applicant is doing some really, really important science. So that needs to be exceptional science, asking a really important question that's going to move the field forward. And you also need to have some real confidence that the applicant is going to be doing their science in the right place, so that they've chosen a host institution where they can best do that science. So I think we're we're looking really for um, two things. There's the science, you know, there's real clear evidence that what you're going to do is groundbreaking research. You're pushing your research area. You're not just carrying on um, and as as a postdoc in the same lab. You're really breaking out in your own independent direction and you're finding your own niche really in research. I think the second aspect of it is that you are uh, providing evidence that you're going to become a leader actually in your field. What we want to see is that you're building your own network um, of collaborators and that you're pushing the science in a direction that really is, is something different. It's something that stands out and it's something that is going to be outstanding in the, the future. The proposals have to really fit the best of both worlds, that so they've got to appeal to the referees who will be looking for that technical detail, but also in both the case for support and the um, objective section and the lay summary that's in the uh, application form, that we also want to be able to understand, you know, why is what you're doing important and convince us actually that it's something that should be funded. I think one of the things that people can always do is just make sure you get as many people to read your um, application as possible and help you with editing it um, and help you with feedback and comments. Um, I think I always say, well, once you've actually finished writing the proposal, that's, that's probably about 50% of the, the job done. And then the editing starts and the refinement. And it's only after then that your proposal is going to be the best that it, it can possibly be. So my top three tips for writing an exceptional proposal would be really to focus on the three important areas. So the first one would be to make sure that your CV shines and you really take the opportunity to show why you are becoming an independent researcher and you are on a trajectory to becoming a leader in your field. So if you have done something that allows you to demonstrate like that, for example, you've published as a corresponding author, a senior author on a paper, if you've had grant income, if you've organised a conference or given a keynote lecture, make sure that's really clear. The second is really to be absolutely clear that the science you're doing is exceptional, it's at the cutting edge and that you've had plenty of feedback about that, uh, that you've talked with leaders in the field and that you know that what you're doing really is the best science you can do. And the third element is to have really had a good conversation with your host institute and to be really clear about how they're going to support you. What we want to see is that the department is generally 100% committed to supporting you over the time of the fellowship. And that might be uh, in the form of uh, extra budget for you to be able to do things. It might be in the form of being able to use equipment at a reduced uh, price. But it's also the other things that they put in place, you know, looking at your career and how they'll mentor and support you then over the next three years to put you, put you in the best possible place then um, for the next step. So one of the things that you can do as well is that BBSRC themselves and the BBSRC office are incredibly supportive and helpful. So if you do have any questions about uh, putting in a Discovery Fellowship proposal, you shouldn't hesitate to get in touch with the BBSRC office.